Hello Sagittarius. I hope you're all well today, so we'll be looking at whoever's on your mind for the rest of August. Let's see how they'll be feeling about you. Seems to be single. I don't know if you're in a commitment. Yeah, this person, they have feelings for you, but they're not ready for anything heavy or serious right now. Sort of a single independent energy world. This person may be doing very well when it comes to the material realm. So there may be some sort of celebration here. But also world can talk about travel. How will the person on Sagittarius mind be feeling to a pentacles in reverse? Well, if you were in a commitment with this person, there's patience needed here, or there's divine timing at play um, because of someone's past. King of Cups, Six of Cups. Someone is coming through as emotionally drained or unavailable. And if this has something to do with you, you know, the person on your mind is someone from your past that you've had an ending with. World can sometimes talk about a completion of a cycle. Um, someone who's dropping the situation. So the past person, you know, you've had a breakup with, they feel it's over. Why is world here? Knight of Cups. Why two of Pentacles? Oh yeah, some of you, this was... Um, a player, someone who is scattering their energy. And you're coming through as closed off because you're wanting fairness, equality. There's also mind games, a very toxic situation here. But we also have someone new, especially if they're at a distance. We have a love offer coming your way. There's two energies, two energies here past person you've had a breakup with that's over but there's a new cycle beginning for you a love offer this person seems genuine let's see what is this person's intention six of wands well they really like the attention you give them this is someone who's very confident they like to be center of attention they want success here. Some of you, they're wanting to spend time with you. I see quality time taking you out. It's like prized possession energy I'm getting here. They may really like having you by their side, showing you off. This person is quite successful I'm getting for whatever they do. They're looked up to in some way, well-respected in their community. What action will this person take towards Sagittarius? What action? Why, why temperance in reverse? Well, they have a decision to make whether this can work. Are you both compatible? But if you're asking, sorry, I have to go back and forth. If you are asking about a past person, they seem to be keeping their options open. I don't know what they're doing, getting attention from others. And they're ignoring this because they feel like you both are incompatible. You, they don't see this working out. What action will the new person take towards Sagittarius? Knight of Wands. Oh yeah, this person's really physically attracted to you, Sagittarius, if you're getting to know someone new. Um, they really want passion, something physical with you. That is the person that's wanting to spend time with you, take you out. I'm getting Knight of Wands. But don't rush into anything. Knight of Wands can be like that. Hit it, and, hit it and quit it, so take your time. Because this person's coming through as impatient, rushing things. What is the potential outcome between Sagittarius and the new person? Someone's intuition being blocked, a lot of overthinking, stressful.
Why Nine of Swords? Someone here may be concerned about their finances and that's distracting them from this situation. There's too much going on. There's a lot of external factors getting in the way as well with the two major arcana, but it's the feminine energy in reverse. See, if you identify as the more feminine energy, there's some healing to do, self-love. The energy is not grounded. Had this been upright, it's perfect, right? It's Taurus energy, it's in reverse. It's a lot of time being spent in your head. Sometimes Nine of Swords can be worst case scenarios, right? What if this goes wrong? What if this happens? What if intuition is blocked? Clouded judgment here. You need to spend time grounding that energy, whether that's meditating, spending time in nature, whatever helps you, right? Ground your energy is the strongest message. I'm not really interested in the past person. I feel like that's pretty straightforward that persons feel like they're playing the field but let's see about the new person actually i'll pull two cards sagittarius for the past person and i'll pull two cards for the new person i feel like my soul is connected to yours can you feel me too you must be my soulmate how will the past person feel about Sagittarius? The past person is saying, I've been so moody lately. My feelings are all over the place. I have no clue what to do anymore. Yeah, this is what I was feeling, especially if there was other people involved. I'm afraid to hurt the people I love to be with you. I'm trying to be fair to everyone involved. This person may have let others get in the way. They weren't prioritizing you, this connection, and they're very moody, perhaps quite flighty as a result. Our relationship is beyond repair. I have nothing else to give. In actions, I'm not compromising. I'm not doing anything to make this right. I'm ignoring this situation. So they think it's over, the past person. What about this Knight of Wands, the new person? How is How are they feeling about Sagittarius? Okay, I do have feelings for you, but I'm trying to convince myself I don't. So this person in the past may have been holding back a lot. I see more action and expression if that is the case. This person's very jealous as well. They don't want to lose you. We have my heart always comes back to you, even when I try so hard to resist it. Do you see that? That resistance. I'm trying to convince myself I don't have feelings. I'm trying so hard to resist. It's like they really have to work hard to hold themselves back, especially like the passion here. I'm feeling hopeful about us. I have awakened to our connection. Look, I get so jealous knowing there could be somebody else in your life. I am so terrified to lose you that I find myself wanting to control you. Wow, that's a strong message, new person. What is the new person's intentions, please, towards Sagittarius? I'm going to continue to play mind games. I can't make you think you have me completely. What is the new person's intentions towards Sagittarius? One more. this person they have issues we have i'm not going to give you the impression i like you too much why are they ha holding back they're hiding their true feelings i'm going to show you that i'm the one you should be with i'm making changes in my behavior and habits you deserve better yeah this may be an on again off again situation is what is coming through i want this love fortune teller which i got for the other signs as well you have a strong hold over the new person and they don't want you to see that they fear uh, losing control what can sagittarius expect in regards to their love life moving forward 
anything they want to convey to you outside influences especially with the past 19 that number may be significant what can Sagittarius expect in regards to their love life moving forward expect to travel well you can expect to travel yeah some of you may be traveling and you may have some passionate times here we have divine mission together preparing for union and sexual encounter i feel like you know the next person or whoever you're getting to know someone you have a very strong emotional but also strong physical connection with if your love life you know is feeling stagnant sagittarius and you're feeling like nothing's happening when things start moving they'll really start moving is what i'm feeling we have unrequited love 30 it's the past person is what i'm seeing yeah there's someone better and happy times ahead so it's assuring you believe that person who cares about them once you meet your actual person you won't even think about the past person falling out of love yeah perhaps better friends than lovers trust will be rebuilt Trust will be rebuilt when it comes to love. Trust will be rebuilt when it comes to the universe. Especially if we've been through a heavy cycle of breakup. You know, it can be feeling jaded, feel like giving up. There's no thing such as true love. You know, it can be that mentality. But with time, you will heal and trust will be rebuilt. Yeah, final goodbye. Dishonest can't be trusted. If there is dishonesty or red flags, you're picking up on that, so don't doubt yourself because we had all that overthinking. Your initial feelings, your gut instincts are correct, but then you overthink things and you, you start instilling doubt in yourself, if that makes sense. So don't overthink it. You're on the right track. Your intuition is on point. We have there your twin flame. Seems to be the, the new person that will be coming in. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Look at this person. What's the problem? Did you, do you remember the resistance we were getting with the other oracles? Resisting the connection. But feelings are mutual. Well, if it's a new person, it makes sense, right? Maybe they've been burnt here in the past and they're not wanting to rush things. But in terms of the new person, they're not really giving us a set direction. They're saying you'll have to trust the plan. Beautiful. I'd say give them the chance, but always listen to your intuition. It's a gentle reading. You know yourself better. You know your situation better. But do work on grounding that energy and use protection. Love trip. What, wherever you're going, expect to travel. Wherever you're going, make sure to use protection. This love trip will be filled with passion and adventure. Enjoy it. You deserve it. It's beautiful. What advice do you have for Sagittarius the rest of August? We have it's okay. Pain is a part of growing. Don't numb the pain. It's okay to allow yourself to feel your emotions so you can start your healing journey. Even with the new person, Sagittarius, there may be certain things that are very triggering. So it's like bringing all that pent up energy, those negative, so called negative emotions, right, to the surface so you can work on it. Nine of Swords can be that energy. Something here is very triggering. Maybe they remind you of someone from your past. Because there is something about the new person that's also bringing you a lot of, a lot of stress. Come back to Earth. Taking you for a ride. Yeah. I think you were misled or someone was stringing you along. Something happened here. We have... It's okay if you need fantasy to survive reality, if that's where you need to be. Just don't get lost in dreams. The real world is waiting for you. Come back to Earth. Ground that energy. And set goals. So don't... Um, it's all about getting ahead in terms of finances and building a name for yourself. And I see some good work opportunities headed your way. Or just 
more financial success, whatever that means. It'll play out in different ways. What advice do you have for Sagittarius? This will be overall. It can be when it comes to your love life or just other aspects of your life. Aw, true love. Some of you, if you haven't met anyone, right, you're completely single, we have true love in winter. What you desire will manifest in the winter months. Also, a time of solitude, survival, and quiet reflection. Well, it's needed. They're wanting you to go into hermit energy, but I feel like true love, winter. It is safe for you to love. Open up your heart again and create an emotional flow. Ooh, some of you justice or a divorce is being finalized here. Um, autumn, winter, that is also coming through. But if you've been done wrong, they're saying justice will be served. Don't worry. Huh, this is so cute. I love this reading for you. It just warms my heart. We have closure. Sometimes the only closure you need is understanding that your soul deserves peace. Yeah, divine timing, commitment. We have free will. You'll have a decision to make, but they're saying don't rush the process. Take your time. And be authentic. Be true to yourself. Don't compromise what is valuable, what is important for you. But true love, say yes. Take a chance and say yes. Yes to that offer. Yes to romance. And yes, you are ready for this. So that fear may be, you know, am I ready to jump into something serious? I'm not sure. You know, a lot of self-doubt creeping in. And they're saying, say yes. I don't know. I'm, I have a very positive feeling when it comes to the new person. I mean, there will be challenges like with any relationship, but for the most part, I'm almost called to pull out this deck for the new person. Can you please give me two cards? I didn't do this for any of the other signs, but I really want to. Can you please tell me in two cards about this new person, the Knight of Wands, that either Sagittarius is getting to know or will be getting to know here in the future. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. I have a positive feeling about this person. Yeah, they're a soulmate, and some of you will meet this person online with the stalker, but maybe just a little jealous, and some of you is just highlighting online, someone who's wanting more information. Do you see... Do you see that? The warm colors, they're really standing out to me. Look at that. It's a soulmate, this new person. I feel like they're saying say yes to this adventure. Will have a lasting impact on your life. Values are in total alignment, ready to meet their soulmate. This person's really feeling you on a soul level. It's mutual. Feelings are mutual. We have the pushover, it gives their partner all the power, can be the strength in reverse actually. Gives their partner all the power, has a hard time standing up for themselves, they are easy to overcome or influence. That may be something they're needing to work on, right? It's reminding me of establishing healthy boundaries, so that is something they're... Or you know what I'm getting with all the resistance that we are getting throughout? They may have been strung along or, you know, manipulated in the past. Husband. I was seeing the husband can be wife. Sorry, there was an interruption there. So this does have potential to be something long term. Given that they're not already committed, then that is an issue. Hmm. Yeah, this person may be well off financially. I'm getting in terms of you. They know they're attracted to you. They have feelings for you. They're a soulmate. But I'm not sure they're thinking long term right now. I think it's, yeah, this is to be written, Sagittarius. But I think I'll leave it there. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next week. Bye.